Ladies, today I am addressing a common question. What could be the reason for not getting a second date after the first? So, if you have ever wondered why a promising date never leads to a second date, then stick around my ladies. Now ladies, a little story time before I share with you some points, tips to reflect on to help your dating world. Ladies, years ago, my personal experience, I met a guy in a dating hub. And when he asked for a date where we could meet up, I was craving for some delicious African food. So when he asked where I wanted to go, I excitedly suggested African restaurant. African food are sold at Dera Dubai. Now ladies, here is where it got interesting. <laughs> when the food was served, as we normally eat in Africa, I used my fingers to eat and that turned him off completely. You see ladies, he is British and he wasn't familiar with the African cultural variation in dining etiquette. In his culture, using cutlery is known and my finger licking experience wasn't quite what he expected. I know some of you watching would say, but that's your culture. It's not supposed to feel bad. Yes, I would say that, but at the same time, some people are not educated enough. Some people just meet you from the first time and what you're doing is different from what they grew up to see. Do I blame him? No. Do I blame myself? Of course, no. Seeing me eating with hands, it feel like, okay, what bush is this girl from? <laughs> I learned from that. Looking back, I said to myself, if I have known more about etiquette, I would have saved myself from that embarrassment. I would have also used hands to eat, but I would do it more stylishly. You learn from experience and improve in yourself. I am a certified etiquette coach, but before then, I wasn't. So ladies, this could be one barrier that could cause your no second date because it happened to me. I always share my experience here so that my ladies will learn from it. Learning the basic etiquette of different culture could help make a huge difference in your dating world, my ladies. Please do not say, no, I'm from Africa. In Africa, we do in certain way. We do that in certain way. Yes, you are right, but you don't know who you are meeting for the first time. If you know you cannot avoid licking the fingers, order something else or do not go to that restaurant. I only get a second date. What do you think is the problem? I have a detailed video relating to this topic. I will leave it in the pinned comment or here. Ladies, it can be frustrating when you're not getting that second date. But first, I want to commend you, my lady, for your persistence as it is not easy, but you are putting yourself out there. And that is admirable, my lady. I really do not know what could be the reason, but I will share some helpful tips for you to reflect on. Be honest with yourself and this could help you in your dating world. Number one, your profile presentation. Ladies, while you are in dating site, ensure your dating profile represents your true self and interest. And use a well-written bio that can make a significant difference. Are you using your own photo or you're using someone else's photo? Because if you are not the person in that photo, it's someone else. So when you go to the first date, of course, if you are a different person from what is in the photo, it will be time wasted for you and your date and you might end up not getting a second date. Number two, communication. How are you communicating with your date? Were you fully engaged in discussion with him? Was there eye contact? Are you engaging in meaningful conversation that can create opportunity for a second date? For example, in today's society, the word teaches to be harsh and sometimes act nasty, extremely confrontational. So you can come out strong or you could come out or seem confident, bold, my ladies. This is completely not true and unnecessary. You can still be the confident lady, but 
mastering the art of kindness and also stay on your value be able to command the respect you truly deserve you being the feminine girly classy lady on a date you will get a second date but when you go on a date you have nasty you over talk you say unnecessary things it won't give you a second date because manners matters you don't have to be brutal only when someone is trying to disrespect you because it's not acceptable for anyone to disrespect you but if they disrespect you you could handle that in a classy way i also have a video for that it's on my playlist dating tips and etiquette how to handle situation in a classy way three it could be your capability assess if you and your date shares common interest and value ladies it's crucial for building a lasting connection my ladies it could also be timing sometimes my lady the timing could not be right well it's not an hundred percent accurate because if you are not ready for a date you won't go on a dating site and go ahead to invite a lady for a first date but let's assume it could be the time it's not right for your dates to want to go into a relationship and that's okay my ladies keep an open mind don't get discouraged just because somebody is not able to set his priorities when you're going for a date ensure you have fun enjoy your evening if there's a second date or not and don't be discouraged my ladies number five get feedback ladies if you feel comfortable ask for feedback from your friends or from your previous dates so you could know because this might provide insights that can improve your dating approach remember ladies finding the right partner takes time and it's about the both parties feeling a connection my ladies stay positive be yourself and don't give up you got this my ladies stay classy and keep those etiquette skills sharp